Welcome to part whatever on the uh, slowest diesel tractor build on the internet. Had the day off today and I really want to get some stuff done on this, so here's what's been going on. Uh, I know I made the hot side, if you want to call it, in the last video, but it made the turbo hang too low once I started putting more things on it. So I made this shorter one, which brings it up now. This green line here marks the roughly where the hood goes. And that's about as far up as I can raise the turbo, or else it hits other things. But you can see, now I have more clearance down here for a clutch. Because what happened was, once I put the oil drain, which comes down right here, it was like right on top of this shaft. So I just moved it to make a lot of things easier before I did anything else to it. And here's the, uh, the air filter setup. It's the factory air filter. This had some kind of breather hole in it that I filled, welded it solid, and you know, just smoothed it out. And it's the original backside too. Just made a pipe that goes into the turbo there. Started making the exhaust side. I just want to make it, you know, to where it would clear outside the tractor, which is what it's doing there, and then I'll figure out the rest later. But at least now I know it clears the gas tank and the, uh, the grill, or whatever you want to call it there. Now what I'm doing is. I just made a flange for the charge pipe to the cylinder head, which is over yonder here. There you go. Uh, it's eighth inch plate. I cut it out of uh, this beam. I've never actually really bought any metal other than small brackets and stuff. I just try and find these beams out for scrap places or you know other big chunks of metal. Uh, hitches work real nice. People throw out hitches when they're rusty and they have big nice plates inside of them you can use to make this stuff out of. It's a lot cheaper than trying to buy plate steel. Plus I haven't really found any place local you should buy metal at yet that'll sell me anything less than a truckload of it. I mean, you know, something that a something that someone less than a business would need. They don't seem to be interested in helping you. But anyway, I'm gonna keep cleaning this up, bolt on the tractor, and then try and make the charge pipe from the turbo to the cylinder head. Here's where we're at so far. Uh, I made that pipe that goes around from the intake. That's that's where the intake is, right into the cylinder head. Pipe comes around. I have a one and three eighth to one and a half inch exhaust adapter just taped on there for now because all the piping we use is one and a half inch. So once I figure out the angle I need here and the I keep on say intercooler pipe, there's no intercooler on it. The charge pipe will be complete. Once I get that welded in, I'm going to cut it somewhere over here and put a rubber coupling in. Just so there's some kind of like vibration damper in the pipe. So it's not solidly mounted at both ends. I'm afraid it'll crack itself or crack the turbo or something like that. Yeah, let me finish this up here. Okay, I got the weld finished. Not the fanciest welder, but it'll do. So I guess I'm going to cut it over here and put a piece of radiator hose in for a flex. Now I'm going to take them all apart again and uh, paint them. I also have to, I already did this in this one, but I grind around the studs so the weld clears. Because all my excess weld. So I'm going to do that on the, the hot side of it now so I can bolt it back up and I'll repaint that right away. I'll wait to paint this one until I cut it and put the radiator hose in it. I forgot where I left off because it's been a few days of having to track down paint. Basically, what I've been dealing with is this Ace paint. Just because it was the only thing at my local hardware store that was close. School bus yellow. Well, I've been using it on this whole tractor and the paint's hot garbage. Finally got to the point of like 10 coats of paint on this charge pipe. To even get the cover, and even that point, you can still see through it in a lot of spots. And yeah, trust me, I'm using primer and everything, it's fine. And then just handling it days later, the paint's literally falling off. And I'm using their primer, their paint, you know, just this color or what. I'm not having any problem with like the Rust Oleum I'm using for this white. So I went to Tractor Supply yesterday and got this stuff, which is actually. Cub Cadet Yellow. I don't know, it says it on it somewhere. And so far it seems to be working really good. I started repainting some of the other stuff I can take off. I'm not going to do it all right now, but 
I just couldn't stand dealing with this crappy paint any longer. So I just painted these charged pipes. And of course I'm, I don't know, not patient enough and I can't wait for it to dry. So I gotta finger it all up while it's still wet putting it on. But there's, I put the coupler on. Uh, there's the other pipe there. I screwed it up right in a few spots. Gotta touch that up. And now there's where it connects to the turbo. While I was waiting for that to dry, I made the actual exhaust here. So there's the flange where it goes on to the turbo. I found the gaskets, but I mentioned in another video that it didn't include the gaskets. I found them in the bottom of the box in the packing. For some reason, they weren't with the rest of the gaskets. They were, a few of them were on their own. So I put orange RTV on them too, just be you know extra sure, because actually they're just like aluminum gaskets, just solid metal. And I put this little chromey pipe on here for my final exhaust. That's where everything's going to come out at. You know, I should clear the hood. The hood should be like right here. So yeah, I'm just going to wait for this to dry every night. Call it a night. And uh, next thing now, I'm going to plumb the oil lines. And pretty much the oil lines and the uh, wiring. And this thing's all done. I just got to hunt for some bulk 6 gauge wire. Because I don't really want to use the pre-made battery cables because they're never the right length. I'm just going to make everything fresh. I think 6 gauge is more than enough for this. So then after that, we'll uh, see it fire up with the turbo.